The competition on social platforms is through the roof, and scientists claim that thanks to AI and robots, humans will become irrelevant in a few years as machines will outperform us in everything we do. So what is the point of starting a YouTube channel now? What is the point in life? What is this guy talking about? Thank you so much for watching this video. This is a special one. If you've been following this channel, you'll be aware of my interest in AI and my goal to survive the future in a holistic manner. One of the main actions that I've taken to attain this goal is to become a content creator. In my opinion, this is the best time to do it. Why? Because of these three points that you will see in a second. There goes a hint. Communication. Point number one, self-acceptance and authenticity. In this video, I want to open to you about one of the biggest and most important flaws that I have to wrestle with every day, communication skills. A friend of mine told me the other day, you are so good communicating to a camera. You are a natural. Am I? In my videos, you will normally see a big amount of edit cuts. Why? Because of this. Okay, only with what? Only with what means? Okay, only with, only with, 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 what? Only with what with, what we have seen, with what we've seen. Only with. Okay, only with, only with what we've seen. Only with, only with what we've seen. Perplexity AI is, in my humble opinion, better. Only with what we've seen. Perplexity AI is, in my humble opinion, better. Okay, oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, only with what we have. I struggle with memory, the ability to clearly articulate my thoughts, dyslexia. Recording scripts is literally a torture for me. This is why I edit like this. And because I thought that fast-paced editing was the way to go in a world where attention span is almost inexistent. So this is me. From now on, you won't see edits. I have been, of course, I have been studying what I have to say, so I don't make you lose your time, but I won't follow script. Thank you so much for your patience and bearing with me. So I've been studying YouTube for a long time and I have to say I really like it. I've been studying the, a lot of videos about the gurus of YouTube that say, basically, that give you advice on how a uh, video should be. Um, I really enjoyed it. I learned quite a bit. And, you know, I liked all this stuff about the thumbnails, the titles, retention hacks, you know, the storytelling structures and all this stuff. But I have to say that I've been, like, very... Um, reluctant to show exactly who am I like right now like speaking with no script and like saying what it comes um, to mind and trying to cut all these parts of me and trying to make the best video possible I found myself um, maybe putting more hours than I expected and I have to say that the right now the <clears throat> The results are not what I expected. So, you know, I saw that lately there's a lot of people that want to um, see really authentic people, people talking to a camera and expressing their thoughts. So what is, th this is what I want to try now. And this is what I'm going to like focus more on my channel too. Um, I will continue doing edits because I love editing and I think, you know, the pace is very important. But I want to find something more authentic and more, more me, more to the point. Um, so why not go 100% with authenticity? Because it's really hard. Um, like doing videos like this, it's hard because like, you know, editing, shooting, querying scripts and all this stuff. But it's hard to, to, to like basically show yourself and sit in front of a camera and talking to all you guys. It's not easy. And there is a lot of like, um, it's threatening in a way. There's a lot of self-induced fear. And this is one of the reasons why I think it's very important to do it because it's where you grow. It's something difficult that you have to like confront some fears. And if you do it, you will grow. And it's kind, of, it's kind of interesting that um, you start seeing that the first, um, the first thing that it's against you or that criticizes you is yourself. 
basically it's you yeah and the more you do it the more you start letting yourself out and stop caring the easier it gets and the more let's say healthy self-respect you gain and yeah i mean i think that this is like in a way accepting you know this self-acceptance of your potential flaws and accepting who you really are it's very liberating because i cannot tell you the biggest thing that creates tiredness it's so exhausting trying to be somebody that you are really not or trying to fake or trying to like look more cool um in front of everybody it's really really exhausting and it can become something that pushes you to burn out and you know trying to hide all who you are it's it's like it requires a lot of effort time and effort so as you can see i'm like looking here because i have like a mini uh a mini storytelling script that helps me remember what i have to say my point is that a very healthy way to use this platform is exposing yourself and sharing all your sharing your thoughts uh insights etc because probably you will help somebody doing that and it feels like in a way the audience is asking you to be yourself express yourself hitchcock the cinema director once said if i am not myself then who will i love the word x press um if, if you think about it it's you know x press um think about it like you're expressed sorry that you're like pressed all the time with all this like weight and the x is like you know liberating you from all this weight self-imposed weight that by the way everybody wears everybody i think it's very good to have a place where you go often let's say um, i'm trying to force myself to do it every week where you dumped all your ideas where you try to make sense of you know of what you like who you are etc and you have to express it um in some way it doesn't have to be a youtube channel it can be whatever writing for yourself etc but there is like something difficult to share it with everybody and this is and this is a thing that where there's growth created this basically creates self-confidence and i think that we will need a lot of this for the future that is waiting for us by the way i'm experimenting with conversational ai to find um, a tool that helps me be better in my ability to express myself and to articulate my ideas. And basically, it would be like having a conversation with a chatbot. It's still, I'm still like working on it. I find it like very clunky right now. So I want to make a video that is kind of useful and cool. So I don't, know, I don't think it's going to like game right now. But so you know, in one of these maybe one day you will have one uh, link in one of these corners of your screen. So if, you want, if you're interested in it, you can click on them. Point number two, connection. I'm going to divide this second point in three parts. The first is connection to yourself. Second is connection to humans or others. And the third is literally, literal connection, business, etc. Connection to yourself. Going through making videos uh, like this or expressing yourself in another way, is um, a very good excuse and a very good exercise to start knowing yourself in a lot of levels, in a lot of different aspects. What do you like? What do you enjoy? How do you relate with um, putting the work? Um, how do you relate with discipline? Um, how do you work, basically? How efficient you are? Um, how do you take on the pressure, etc.? And... <clears throat> basically, it makes you feel more knowledgeable about yourself. And I think that is a very good vessel to find your own voice, to feel comfortable about talking about what you like. Um, you will gain a lot of information about who you really are doing this stuff. You know, being consistent, uh, disciplined, and seeing that you're putting the work and that you're creating content 
instead of consuming content all day that, by the way, I don't blame anybody. I love to consume content. I am completely addicted to consuming content, but that's another reason why I'm doing, trying to be, uh, uh, trying to create instead of only consume. <clears throat> but it makes me proud in a healthy way about the work that I'm putting in. And in a way, you gain some self, uh, self, self-esteem or self-respect. And, and this is a very good way for me to, to, be, to have more focus about what is important and what is not. Meaning, it's important to be doing, I think, what I'm doing now. And it's not important what other people may think or the criticism or all this other stuff. And by the way, having something that makes you f- that makes you focused in something, it's very good, whatever it is. In a moment like the years that the era that we're living, that focusing in something it's so so challenging. And in a way, this brings me more emotional security, more calmness, more calm, um, and optimism f- in front of whatever um, whatever the future whatever the future will bring us. And it looks like there is going to be probably quite a bit of emotional challenges, emotional distress in the population because of like big, huge social and cultural challenges and changes. And yeah, basically, a lot of people that I'm listening to, they say that probably the biggest thing is going to be like uh, lack of meaning, loss of meaning, general loss of meaning. Um, and I really don't see a better antidote in front of that to battle that um, that, you know, having a holistic understanding of who you are as a person you know, accept, accept, accepting who you are, flaws the good things, etc and you know, this probably will make you be more empathic, empathetic with other people because really everybody is going through something and having their problems, etc. And you will gain, I'm gaining, um, I think, a more understanding of human nature, emotional intelligence, etc. And these skills, I think they're going to be very, very important in a future, probably a future ruled by machines. Yeah, AI machines and all the shit, you know. Ruled by machines, aka algorithms. What? Connect to others. Think about how interconnected we are with the digital world. Um, how many hours we spend a day not physically using our phones, but how many mental hours we are in a digital world. In my case, a lot of hours. I'm like really, really thinking about pff, something related with the, with the digital world all fucking day long. And, you know, how the future looks with the creation of literally digital species that will overflow everything we do in all levels of our lives. It's going to be, it's going to get undistinguishable. It's going to get like very difficult to to realize what is reality and what is not. I'm not, and I'm not like only talking about fake news. But the vast amount of of AI influencers, of AI avatars that are going to be used, the, the vast amount of of changes that AI and automation are going to to bring to marketing and to all different industries in the world, um, it's going to get very very difficult. And it's going to feel, I think that we're going to feel a very like huge, deep disconnection from the reality that we will going to be living. And, and this brings me to the, the connection part that we will need, we, we need now and we always need it. You know, when we were like explaining stories um, with prehistoric dudes, you know, around the fire, we always need it to hear other people's stories, um, other people's struggles, etc., to have like something to relate to, to have something to learn from. And 
And this, I think, is going to be more more than ever. We really, really will seek and need to see literally people having conversations, people having like a good time, friends having the, this chemistry between them and having some laughs. I think that this is going to be the most meaningful experience that we will be able to to experience in a world literally flooded with automation, AI, robots, algorithms, etc. So AI and machines are going to be way better at doing what humans have been doing for ages. So doubling down in what makes us human, I think, is the way to go. Make connections. The digital world is where stuff happens um, in creation of new businesses. Um, just like basically almost no friction to start new businesses, etc. And you will meet a lot of people there uh, that share um, the same interests as you. Uh, opportunities, job opportunities, etc. Um, even having, if you go to a job interview and you have worked in your digital presence, um, you have a well-rounded thought digital presence, I think that you're going to have more numbers. I mean, I think that you're going to be probably better positioned to to have the job, to be hired. And then, And things are changing a lot. Like, if you think about it, TV, I mean, the money uh, that advertisement is spending in, you know, the old mediums um, like TV, radio, newspapers, etc. It's like literally like going, going, it's going down. Um, you know, marketing is like moving from these places to like little screens. Um, call it TV, TV meaning Netflix, etc. or small, small screens, small screens as our iPhones through different like social media platforms. Yeah, the digital economy has been growing nonstop and it will bring a lot more changes. So I think that being part of it is a very, nowadays it's like a very, very important um, excuse to start having some kind of presence in social media. In my case, in YouTube in this moment. Um, it took me a lot of time to realize this and... I think that if you want to expand your survival opportunities, it's the way to go. Point number three, communication skills. Probably one of the most important skills of all. Um, through life, I've had a lot of difficulties with communication skills and the ability to articulate my thoughts in a logical, uh, organized way. And, and this made me feel like really, really stupid um, very self-aware of myself. Uh, I self-sabotage myself a lot, and and probably is one of the connections to depression. Uh, again, another world, another word that I like a lot. It's not that I like it a lot, but it's very interesting. Depression. Jim Carrey, one of my youth obsessions, defines depression as the need to depress, to release the pressure a lot of people has inside caused by not being who they really are. Basically, it is a natural way of the body to release this pressure. And through time, I, come to, I came to realize that expressing yourself um, and in this way through communication and communicate to others it is one of the most important things that you can do, that you can work in life. Yeah, I should have listened to my mother when I was young, because she always told me that I should be writing and speaking out loud about stuff that I would like. She would tell me this like probably 20 years ago because she knew that I was struggling with communication skills and expressing myself. And of course I didn't listen, so here we are. Listen to your mother. Another thing is that forcing myself to be uh, more clear and effective with my communication skills has made me more prepared, more knowledgeable, and and confident to face my goals. Um, I always had like uh, difficulties to express my ideas and communicate to the teams I had um, while doing the projects, audiovisual projects that I was involved in, and it was very challenging to be able to communicate exactly what you wanted. Um, others like Tarantino, they have this 
this ability to have a clear vision and a clear way of articulating it and expressing it and communicating to their teams what they want. So their vision can be well translated. This next phrase is going to be in black background because I think it's worth it. Precision in language is critical not only to success, but also to completeness in our understanding of the things we are doing. I really do think that our ability to understand and communicate with humans and robots are going to be, is going to be very, very important. Um, in a world fueled by efficiency and automation, being able to prompt the computer what you want and being very precise and articulate uh, about it, it's going to be really crucial. And besides, in a world um, where people will seek connection, having you know communication skills, mostly um, public speaking, you know presentation. And having the ability to connect, to understand people, human nature, uh, emotional intelligence um, are going to be really, really useful skills. And besides, it is a tool that differentiates us from other animals. You know, through language and communication, we arrived, we arrived where we are right now in history. I've been years pursuing a career in the film industry. And I completely dismissed the creator's economy, social media. And I, I always thought that it was full of egocentrical people that only wanted to talk about themselves. And I was wrong. Here I am. It did prove to be a very a health, a healthy vessel to, to self-discovery, to growth, creativity, communication with others etc. And I think in a way I owe it to the community of YouTube to be doing these videos because um, watching YouTube in times that were like kind of dark um, gave me some hope and some meaning and I think that it could help somebody. In a way it made me feel uh, it made me feel as a part of a whole making me f making me improve myself while I potentially help others. So I think this is a very good thing to work on. I am in the creative economy because I love to talk about stuff I enjoy and create healthy conversations about difficult topics that I think are very important for people's well-being in the future. I want to entertain, make laugh, give hope and learn from interesting people. YouTube gave me an opportunity to do that and help me accept, improve, gain clarity and connect to myself. A healthy combo to be prepared for the new era. So let's wrap up this video, shall we? Thank you, thank you so much for having the patience to be listening if you arrive to the end. And yeah, let me tell you that I'm super excited and a little bit scared to be living in what I think is one of the most important and crucial moments of human history. And what a better way to be sharing it with all of you guys, um, thanks to this platform, YouTube. Um, yeah, if you're not still convinced about starting a YouTube channel, maybe watching this next video is going to give you a new perspective. So enjoy it. Thank you so much and stay kind.